So you want to buy some spare parts for your Lego. Well, we can go into the lego.com site and go to their picker brick. Uh, so where we go? You go into the shop, um, theme, and then scroll down here. Individual bricks and building accessories. I'll scroll up a little bit so you can see there. And then individual bricks and building accessories. We go into pick a brick, custom mix and match elements. This will bring up your pick a brick selection from the pick a brick factory at Lego. Now, suppose you go through all the bricks because there's all kinds of categories here, um, and they don't have the exact thing you're looking for. In a lot of the case, uh, when you're creating an own creation, um, they don't have what you're looking for uh, because they maybe you'll have a newer set or something and uh, they just don't have it. So, what we have to do is uh, go to another site uh, to find those parts. So you can go to bricklink.com, B-R-I-C-K-L-I-N-K.com, or you can get it right off my site. Okay, so what we're going to show you today is how to use BrickLink and uh, order up some parts if you need parts. So from my webpage here, we can just scroll down to Cool Links and we'll go to uh, My Stuff for Sale because that's actually on BrickLink and uh, <coughs> My Store comes up. So we'll use My Store just just for uh, demonstration purposes. But you go to BrickLink dot Brink Brick Brick. Com. I can never say that right, but anyway, this is what it should come up as if you put in the direct link. Now, uh, you can log in and register. Register is just a quick few steps to uh, be a member. It's free, so if you have to buy something, you have to do it anyway. Uh, unless you're going to sell something, don't go on to the new seller page. Just go in as the new member. Um, then we go to... Um, buy and say you're looking for oh I don't know if you want to go somewhere just you want the stores in Canada they'll let you list the stores just in Canada um, there's mine right there Novely Bricks and Sticks and uh, we can go here to different things and it shows many figs body wear different capes that I have for sale like the Batman wings flying wing um, if you so wish to, to purchase something that way you would just go add the cart one and add selected items and it says items are added to the cart and then you can follow through and pay through by PayPal or whichever way you want to pay um, that's basically it for buying uh, if you want to search something uh, we can go empty the cart so it doesn't mess things up here and uh, go back to do 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 to main brick link and say you want to look up um, uh, Jabba the Hutt so just put in Jabba and hit go and anything with Jabba in it comes up and it lists who it's sold by and the price and how many they have for sale um, the number in brackets uh, tells the positive feedback um, of people or feedbacks of people who have bought from them so higher the number they sold a lot of stuff generally so um, that's the basics to buying uh, selling you have to go through step by step by step <coughs> of course you have to register as a seller so it's something much like eBay this is like a, a Lego uh, unofficial Lego uh, marketplace it's called um, it's like an eBay for Lego basically uh, Anyway, you can go to my brick link and uh, you, you know, log in there and it tells you all your your uh, transactions and all your information settings. It's really neat. It's not something that I go into full detail, but uh, some people have asked me where to get uh, Lego besides Lego. So if you just want a certain part, um, this is a great place to go. Like, oh, here's one. Uh, Road of the Hut because um, he only comes in one kit and the kit is like almost a hundred dollars Canadian with taxes. So I mean, here you can go into an order, um, just the head and torso. They want four seventy nine 
for that if you want a leg. Either they're breaking it down here to the left and the right le uh, arms uh, for 250 each. So basically five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks they're charging versus going out and buying the set for a hundred. So um, you know. I mean, he's only small, but at the same time, um, for 10 bucks, you might find it cheaper than that. But um, as of right now, in BrickLink, this is the only parts that are available because it shows you everything that's available for that. So I think that's, um, you know, for him, 10 bucks, hmm, take it or leave it, I guess. But uh, I would probably get it if I wanted it. Um, it beats paying 100 bucks for it. Okay, like I said, uh, this is about one of the only other places you can buy uh, separate parts except eBay or something or someone has them at a flea market or something but it's a great resource uh, to go buy uh, spare parts or just the odd part that you might be looking for so anyway um, this is Freddy the Brick Butcher I hope this has helped you out somewhat into understanding a little bit about BrickLink and uh, hope you find the parts you need for uh, building your own creations